Good morning and welcome back and let's play some chess 15 minutes 10 seconds increments here we go and let's see who we are playing today and today we play against a Scandinavian uh, Arson 0310 from France. All right. Well, we have a Scandinavian, and uh, we are about to be checkmated in a few moves. So we have to be careful here. All right. All right, all right, all right. So what do we do? Pawn in the center? Ah, why the hell not? Let's put a pawn in the center. A rook in the center. All makes sense. Okay, so retreating the bishop. It's a funny move. Mm. Yeah, that's uh, okay. I will just uh, keep uh, improving my pieces here. Look to the center. There is the knight. Now I can gain some tempo here. Um, maybe expand uh, with the pawns. And this pawn is defended. He probably wants to castle long. Um, that's for sure. Let's attack the knight. Let's expand here in the center. Grab some space. There we go. If the knight goes here, do we have check? I believe we do. I believe we have check and we already win a piece here. Right? Check. Um, yeah, that's nice. He was probably aiming for this square. Yep, now we pick up the knight. There we go. That's a free piece. So he takes the pawn. Um, I can recapture in the center. Uh, I also I do need to be careful that I'm aligned with the bishop. Um, now I see a bishop here which is undefended. But what is my opponent going to do? Uh, he probably wants to uh, recapture there. Uh, I also I always have to check, but if I do the check now, I would assume that the bishop will retreat. Um, now, if I take, do I help my opponent here? Um, maybe I do. Maybe I do help my opponent. I think I will leave the tension here. Um, I do want to capture this one. Um, yeah, it's a free pawn. I can capture this and then maybe go check and be greedy. It opens up lines for him. So maybe that's not what I want. I can also just develop the bishop, but that runs into this. Um, I do have check, but then here, that's probably not good, um, that's not good, 
What about just going back here that blocks the bishop in? I can develop the knight. I mean, why the hell not? Uh, why the hell not? And yeah, sure, we develop the knight. Now on the pawn move, uh, I will have check or take the pawn. I think on pawn move I will take the pawn. Uh, on that move, which is quite aggressive, I think I will hop my knight to the center, like here. Um, hmm. So here he will probably take. Um, probably something like that will happen. Okay, well that's fine. Not quite sure what my opponent wants now. Uh, so takes, takes. Now also that pawn is then loose, so there's a check here, that's not really good. Well, it is a lot better if I take the pawn. Uh, we will see, we will see. Okay, so he does take. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so we take back. Now, if queen takes pawn, uh, I will take pawn here. Uh, why not? I can recapture that with the knight. And if he takes my queen, then we are just going to play an endgame. Being up a piece, that's probably good. Uh, I understand that he doesn't want to, uh, to do any of that. Now still, that bishop is a loose piece. That's still the case. Uh, what about developing the bishop here? Uh, makes sense. Um, Yeah, that makes sense. So here, here. Um, on that occasion. On that occasion. I can also go here. Try and be annoying. No, but maybe later. Maybe here, here, here. What about that? What about that? So here. Now my rooks are connected, that's good. And I have this move available now. This is not a fork. I have it controlled by three different pieces. So here we go. 
let's offer another queen trade. It's defended by the bishop for the time being. Now he goes there. Uh, that's uh, wow. Um, probably he wants something like this, trying to checkmate me. Um, now what can we do here? Um, I mean, I do have a check available. Uh, can also go here. Is that forcing a trade of pieces? Looks like it. Looks like some pieces are being traded off with this transaction. So there we go. Trading more pieces. Uh, of course he doesn't want to, but he has to trade because I insist. Now, uh, retreat the bishop, make sure it's protected, that makes sense. Um, that makes sense. Um, what I also can do is give a check. No, but he can go here. And I need to be careful. Um, so, yeah, it is a slow move, but it is a move. Uh, I can go here, offer a rook trade. Then maybe here. Hmm. Hmm. Can also go here. Attack the rook. It's a tempo move. Um, maybe he will pin my rook. It's probably not a very good good option. The problem here is my opponent is going to uh, open up and uh, develop. That's okay. I want to make sure my bishop is safe. So let's just make sure my bishop is safe. I don't have to think about the bishop again. It's protected now. So that's a good thing. Uh, I want to rook here. Now this was to be expected. That was to be expected. Um, so what about rook to the center? There we go. Rooks to the center. <clears throat> and we are exchanging rooks. There we go. I can go here. Uh, he can castle eh, in that uh, in that scenario. What about check? That's a little bit annoying. I mean, you can block, but then you will lose a pawn in the process. Uh, do you want to lose a pawn? Um, what about this? Gaining another tempo on the queen. Uh, I can also bring the bishop here. Then he's never going to castle. Not anytime soon. That looks like an annoying move, actually. Um, 
and I like that. That's an annoying move. Now I, I, I need to start being a little bit careful here because I have background issues, sort of. And I have a couple of pieces that looks funky. So so he moves the bishop out. Um, but what about check? Now he's going for some counterplay here. Or what about this check, actually? Now he can he cannot go there, so you have to go here. Uh, wait, check here. Uh, that is slightly annoying, and then. Then what? Um, well, I also have this check. I think this is the most forcing. You have to go back with the bishop, which is quite uncomfortable. Check. What else do you have? You have nothing. You have to go back. And then I can swarm in with my piece. I can play this. He needs to defend. And then I can bring the rook. That looks good. Uh, so yeah, now I can play moves like this. Um, he can castle then, right? So there are ca castle options for my opponents. Uh, what about bringing the rook? Bringing the rook here makes sense. Um, yes. And what I want to do, I want to go here and then take with the rook after castling. My bishop is covering the back rank here. Uh, it's not ideal. But it is available. I can always pick up this pawn here. Okay, he's creating some loof now. But now I can play a move like this, right? Winning another piece. Uh, yes. Now he can castle, absolutely. Um, I think I will take with the rook. Yes, so we take with the rook. Um, and he can give me a check. Then I go back with the bishop. So that seems good for me. Okay, so he, okay, well, there's a check. Now it's, um, yeah, this is not very good. It doesn't look good for my opponent here, for Buddy. Um, now I can go back. Um, uh, 
Let me see. We can also attack the queen. Why would I want to do that? Um, I mean, where's the checkmate? Where is the mate? Check. We can start by giving a check. Uh, I don't see the win. And I still need to be careful about my own back rank. Um, here, here. Um, let's go here. On that move, I might consider going here. Um, so yeah, maybe this move. Uh, makes sense. I can also um, look at other ways. Um, can also give check. Can also go here. And he retreats. Uh, maybe now it is time to move that bishop back. Or maybe here. He has a check here. Which could potentially pick up a pawn. Um, I also like this move. Um, but he has to check. I can consider a move like this. Uh, I will. I will play a move like that just to make sure I have Luft. And I want to go here on my next move. And the pawn, yeah, he can pick up a pawn. But most likely I'm also picking up the pawns over there, so I think we will survive that. So he's picking up a couple of pawns. Uh, what about this move? Probably here, uh, but I can just take that. So let's go ahead. Uh, let's go for this one here. He still has a queen, which is very annoying. Queens are so powerful. I constantly have to check for his checks. Now we are up two pieces, but down a couple of pawns. Uh, so yeah, I want to take this one. Looks a little bit scary. because uh, I'm threatening a couple of things. Um, he's probably going this one. So takes, no, he can't, he can't take that one. I don't see checks. Um, so let's see, let's 
take probably here cut off the escape squares that makes sense um, so he's trying to maybe get a couple of checks in I can go here And he has almost no escape squares. Um, right. What happens if I give the check first? Uh, then he can go here. So probably we don't want to do that. And I think this is just a very nice and quiet move. Uh, he does has a check here. But I have a tempo move. Hmm, check here. No, it's covered by the queen. Okay, so we go here. Quiet move. And we are threatening. Is this checkmate? Oh no, then he goes there. Hmm. Oh, we have this check. That is checkmate. This one. We only have two minutes left. So he's finding an escape square for himself. Uh, so check here. Check. Um, there must be something. Only move. Check here. Uh, check is that fastest, or do we check uh, here? Check. Uh, check. Here, mate. There we go. Tough to find a checkmate in the end. But we we did it. Let's see the accuracy of that game. <clears throat> nice blunder in the beginning of the game. Picking up that night. Now we play with 80.2 against 67. Um, and we played like a 70 50 against the 1400s. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, so Scandinavian. Uh, I like this quick setup with fast castling. I'm not sure if it's the best. And um, in the openings course, I have on chessball. Um, I only studied actually the Fournat Scotch, the French, and the Caro Khan. But there's also some lines against the uh, Scandinavian, um, which are going a little bit different, but I haven't found the time yet to review them. Um, also because I don't face the Scandinavian a lot. Maybe I should. Um, but I'm still happy here. It's plus 2.2. That's also the best, yep. Okay, so we are picking up the knight. That's all good, yep, that's also fine moves. Yep, getting more trades in. Yep, take the rook, prevent castling, yep. There's also, these are all, oh, this is not the best move. Hmm. So there was a checkmate here. It started out with this one. What if, now this, this is interesting. Ah, if queen takes, he's no longer defending this one. So I think we now take the pawn. 
Let's turn off the feedback. And oh, this is checkmate, right? You only can block with uh, the bishop, and then uh, this is mate. Okay. Hmm. Deflection. And now, and what if he blocks with the pawn? It goes like this. Then what? Then bishop b4. I don't get it. Bishop b4. Ah, to clear the path for the rook. And then if this one, then this is made in one. Mm, no, 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 no. This one, of course, that's made in one. Mm, yeah, I didn't saw that. And uh, if uh, oh yeah, and he can also yeah that yeah that's it. He can also go here, but that sacrifices. Um, yeah, that's not good. Okay, so okay, well I missed that. Unfortunate. Um, I think we missed a lot of mates, but this was also fine. Takes takes. There's no mates, um, and I think we did okay here, sacrificing the pawn there. There, this is a miss. I missed a quick checkmate. That's a check. Um, yes, that is a check. Wow, and my queen is coming here, right? Yeah. Yeah, queen h5 mate. Man, this is also maybe a good, a good uh, model game for myself to uh, learn how to attack and find checkmating patterns. I think I found the most <laughs> difficult mating sequence for myself. Um, yeah, queen takes is faster. I went for the slower way. Ah, mate is a mate. All right, I wanna thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, and uh, enjoy the rest of your day. Please like, subscribe, or leave a comment. And then I will, I hope I will see you back tomorrow for a new game. Goodbye.